So what did you discuss with Patrick Kirill? Did you also go into the in detail about his role and responsibility as the patriarch of a church uh, during the war? Four important things that we raised in our conversation with him. Uh, the first thing is the, the war in Ukraine and quite strongly said that the war must come to an end. We have visited the Ukraine. We have seen the impacts of what is happening to the people, the loss of lives and properties, and how this war is senseless in terms of its purpose, but also destroying people, which is really un unacceptable. We related to him what we have seen and said, we need to work towards the cessation of this particular war. But also we expressed concern about the Orthodox family and the different views. So the second point that we raised was, how do we work together for the unity of the Orthodox family? Now, one must really understand that in this context of Ukraine and Russia, the Orthodox uh, Christians are in huge numbers. And they can play a very significant role and have an absolute powerful influence in terms of what they can do about the situation. They can talk against the war, they can talk in favor of peace, and therefore the Orthodox family and the unity of the Orthodox family is essential in this. And therefore we focus quite strongly on the fact that we need to bring the Orthodox community together in unity. So that was the second point. The third point is that we asked, what role can the churches play in terms of bringing unity, in terms of addressing the issues of war, and bringing a, a stop to what is taking place in this current situation. So that was the third, third element of our discussion. And the fourth aspect was to talk about the possibility of a round table and how we can come together and take this conversation further in dialogue so that we as churches firstly seek in unity amongst ourselves. How then can we actually work towards seeking peace in the, in the context of Ukraine and Russia at this, at, at this given time?